don't be surprised. All these sacks you are seeing, they, are, they contain feed ingredients of different uh, sources. All this because I'm trying to formulate feed for the pigs. So on the ingredient side, we have corn, which I always ground them the day before. That's evening of the previous day. I ground them and then I leave them in the sack like this. Like I make sure all the ingredients are ground the day before, especially in the evening. So I had the corn and then the rice bran was available and PKC, which is the dark one you're seeing. I have my fish meal also available and I have my soya bean available, okay? And then I also, this time I didn't use the brewer's paint green. I went for my wheat bran, wheat bran I used. But these days with the rice bran and wheat bran, I have a comment to make, especially with the manufacturers. For the wheat bran, I know a majority of us buy from the Olam Ghana. So Olam people, if you're also watching this, please do something about the wheat brand for us. Currently, what I've been getting is that uh, it's just full of stock. Instead of the brand, we are getting stock. The stock, I mean, where the, the cedar itself was attached. So you can see sticks of it. That one is not helpful for our animals. So just ensure that you give us the right wheat brand, okay? That is what you are requesting for me. Olam Ghana, help us. And with the rice bran also, I go to realize that it is not purely rice bran they are giving to us. This time around, they are giving us the chaff and then the coat of it because it is very rough. Okay, rice bran should be that kind of powdery thing you are able to get and then some sort of broken rice a bit in it. But this time I go to buy, you only see chaff. So I bought it on two consecutive times and I noticed the same thing, which is something I don't really and I wasn't really happy with. So as I started to mix them, a friend of mine who has always been showing interest in pig farming also came. He saw me do the work and he was very interested. So he was willing to at least assist me in mixing the feed. So he came and then the two of us did the mixing. So I go to a point, I was bringing more ingredients because of those I had already formulated for some time ago, about a, a week ago, some are still left. So those that were left, I had to mix them with a fresh one. So when I brought them, he realized that the workload was becoming too much. So he had to run and leave me alone to do the work. Okay, so that is basically what you see me do in this video. And I'm not just formulating, anything I'm doing here is measured. If you could see what I used to fetch the feed into the sack, I know the number of uh, that particular uh, shovel that if I should use to fetch, should be able to feed a group of pigs in the farm. So I don't just do any measurement like that. So for that particular thing I used to fetch into the sack, when I fetch 28, it is able to fill a bag. When the bag is full, it's, it's able to feed about uh, eight pigs, eight pigs for a week. You understand it because as you can see me with the rubber bow the black one i'm using i feed that one two pigs in the morning full of it to eight pigs in the morning and then the same thing in the evening i have like 16 of it inside the sack you're getting it so basically anything i'm doing here i measure it so sometimes my mom does not understand why i always get there the moment the feed is finishing simply because i calculate it and i know when the feed will finish so i have to be there before she even notices it so that is what I always do on the farm. So just as you are seeing, I mixed the feed in two portions. The first one was mixed for growers and lactating sows as well as the boars on the farm. You understand? And then the second phase was when I was also mixing for the winners, the freshly weaned piglets. There are 20 in total. So with the 20 to this one sack of it is able to at least last them for a week before I come back to give them feed. Because with these ones, I feed them three times in a day. The winners, I feed them three times in a day. So after mixing everything, putting it back into the sack, I smelled the thing and I was not getting the soybean part of it. I know the tiring part. After discovering that I didn't add the soybean aspect of it, I have to empty everything back on the ground and mix with the soybean before I rebag it. So it was very stressful for me on that very hot afternoon because I also wanted to leave the, the farm and go somewhere else. So there was no way I could not formulate feed for the piglets. So once I have it this way, I can take some break from the farm and then go and do other things. So that is basically how I would go about feed formulation. But for the ratio and the proportions, I've made a lot of videos on that. So you can check on the channel for all those tips and also some guides on how to properly formulate feed for your pigs also. But for now, Francis thanks Mr. White. Yeah.